Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in, in which we partake of Christ, His sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with His grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. He gave them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, who gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death, may our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the, wo the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth to beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the sorrowful mysteries. The first sorrowful mystery is the agony of Jesus in the garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third sorrowful mystery is a crowning with thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 
Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion and death of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen. Mother of mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant to beseech you that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with a splendid garment let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee Prayer for the Golden Anniversary of the Dominican Province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude 
on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to the holy preaching. In speaking only to you and about you, let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all in the gospel we share to all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is Friday, the third and week of ordinary time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth, mouth shall declare, declare your praise. praise. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for His great love is without end. Come, then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God, and we are His people the flock ye shepherds. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they have seen all of my works. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Forty years I endured that generation, I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I saw in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Lord, you will accept the true sacrifice offered on your altar. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight, I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me here rejoicing and gladness, that the bones ye of Christ may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with the spirit of fervor sustain me, 
that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humbled contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, we build the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lo lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All the descendants of Israel will glory in the Lord's gift of victory. Truly with you, God is hidden, the God of Israel, the Savior. Those are put to shame and disgrace, who vent their anger against him. Those go in disgrace, who carve images. Israel, you are saved by the Lord, saved forever. You shall never be put to shame or disgrace in future ages. For thus says the Lord, the creator of the heavens, who is God, the designer and maker of the earth, who established it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord, and there is no other. I have not spoken from hiding, nor from some dark place of the earth. And I have not said to the descendants of Jacob, Look for me in an empty waste. I, the Lord, promise justice. I foretell what is right. Come and assemble, gather together, you fug fugitives among the Gentiles. They are without knowledge who bear wooden idols and pray to gods that cannot save. Come here and declare in council together, who announced this from the beginning and foretold it from the old. Was it not I, the Lord, besides whom there is no other God? There is no just and saving God but me. Turn to me and be safe, all you ends of the earth, for I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree and my unutterable word. To me every knee shall bend, by me every tongue shall swear, saying only in the Lord are just deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come, all who vent their anger against him. In the Lord shall be the vindication of the glory of all the descendants of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us go into God's presence, singing for joy. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant we pray that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. The span of Sarah's life was 127 years. She died in Kiriath Arba, that is Hebron, in the land of Canaan. And Abraham performed the customary mourning rites for her. Then he left the side of his dead and addressed the Hittites, Although I am resident alien among you, sell me from your holdings a piece of property for a burial ground, that I may bury my dead wife. After the transaction, Abraham buried his wife, Sarah, in the cave of, of the field of Machpelah, facing Mamre, 
that is Hebron, in the, light, in the land of Canaan. Abraham had now reached the ripe old age, and the Lord had blessed him in every way. Abraham said to the senior servants of his household, who had charge of all his possessions, Put your hand under my thigh, and I will make you swear by the Lord, the God of heaven and the God of the earth, that you will not procure a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites among whom I live, but that you will go to my own land and to my kindred to get a wife for my son Isaac. The servant asked him, What if the woman is unwilling to follow me to this land? Should I then take your son back to the land from which you migrated? Never take my son back there for any reason, Abraham told him. The Lord, the God of heaven, who took me from my father's house and the land of my kin, and who confirmed by oath the promise he then made to me, I will give this land to your descendants. He will send his messenger before you, and you will obtain a wife for my son there. If the woman is unwilling to follow you, you will be released from his oath, but never take my son back there. A long time later, Isaac went to live in, in the region of Negev. One day, toward evening, he went out in the field. As he looked around, he noticed that camels were approaching. Rebecca, too, was looking about, and when she saw him, she alighted from her camel and asked the servant, Who is the man out there, walking through the fields towards us? That is my master, replied the servant. Then she covered herself with her veil. The servant recounted to Isaac all the things he had done. Then Isaac took Rebekah into his tent. He married her, and thus she became his wife. In his love for her, Isaac found solace after the death of his mother, Sarah. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy endures forever. Who can tell the mighty deeds of the Lord or proclaim all His praises? Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Blessed are they who observe what is right, who do always what is just. Remember us, O Lord, as your favor, your people. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Visit me with your saving help, that I may see the prosperity of your chosen ones. Rejoice in the joy of your people, and glory with your inheritance. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Please stand. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the customs post. He said to him, follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisee saw this and said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? He heard this and said, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, 
but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ang simbahan ay banal na kalipunan ng mga makasalanan. Maaari kayong magtaka sa sinabi ko. Paanong magiging banal na simbahan kung ang mga nakasapi doon ay mga makasalanan. Banal na kalipunan ng mga makasalanan. Sapagkat ang simbahan ay tinaguri ang katawan ni Kristo. Maaring ang katawan ay sugatan, subalit sapagkat si Kristo ang ulo, napakalinis at napakabanal, malaki ang pag-asang gumaling ang buong katawan. Hanggat buo at malusog yung ulo, nalalaman yung yung buhay ng kalusugan maaaring dumaloy pa magmula doon sa ulo hanggat sa iba't ibang parte ng mga katawan. Kaya ito ang ating pinuprotektahan kadalasan. Hindi lang kadalasan, lagi na kapag tayo nasa panganib. Yan ang ating pinangangalagaan. Pag merong isang mabigat na bagay na patama sa atin, yung kamay natin, sinasanggalang natin yung ulo natin. Hindi yung ulo yung sinasanggalang natin. Para nang sa ganon, e eh, maprotektahan yung ating kamay. Bakit ganon? Hindi na tayo nag-iisip. Yung ulo agad ang pinoprotektahan. Sapagkat hanggat may ulo, may pag-asang mabuhay at may pag-asang bumalik ang kalusugan. E eh, yung ulo ng katawan e eh, malusog at banal ang ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo. Kaya sinabi kong banal, banal na kalipunan. Subalit ang mga kasapi at kasama noon, lahat makasalanan. Kaya kung gusto niyo makakita ng mga makasalanan, e eh, pumunta kayo sa simbahan. Sapagkat yung katawan ni Kristo ay sugatan. Ganun pa man, hindi ka nawawala ng pag-asa. Hindi ba napapansin, ano? Pagpasok nyo pa lang sa simbahan para sumamba, makiisa sa pagdiriwang ng misa. Ha? Sasabihin kayo't babatiin kayo ng paring nagmimisa, namumuno sa pagmimisa. Mga kapatid, ano una nating dinadasal? E dasan ng paghingi ng awa at patawad, ako'y nangungumpisal sa Diyos na makapangyarihan. Yun agad ang ating bira at dalangin. Humingi ng tawad. Humingi ng tawad sa Diyos at sa isa't isa. Sapagkat bagamat tayo yung magkapatid, kung sino pa yung magkakapatid, yun ang lagi nag-aaway. Di ba? Kaya nga ako eh, sa tinagal-tagal ng aking uh, paglilingkod bilang tagapayo o counseling service may nagpupunta sa akin, karamihan, bandang huli, umiiyak. Bakit kapatid ko pa, Father? Bakit kapatid ko pa? Ayun, yung nagtraidor sa kanya at yung gumawa ng masama sa kanya, kadalasan kapatid niya, Bakit, Father, kapatid ko pa? O, oh, Panginoong mahabagay, sabi ko, sino pa ba? O, oh, sino pa ba? Uh, kaya pagpasok natin sa simbahan, hindi ba napapansin? Oh, una nating panalangin, humingi agad ng tawad sa Diyos at sa isa't isa, ganung iisa lang ang bati natin. Mga kapatid, eh puro tayong makasalanan eh. Kaya yung mga tao nagsasabi sa akin, nako, kaya ako ayoko na lang magsimbe. Sabi na lang gano'n. Oh, pag ako'y nagsisimbe, puro makasalanan lang ang nakikita ko eh. Sabi, kung, sabi nilang gano'n. <laughs> sabi kong gano'n. Kung ganyan ka ako, ang aking patakaran sa buhay, aba, sabi ko gano'n, hindi na rin ako magmimisa. Sabi kong gano'n. 
Sapagkat lahat na nagsisimba, makasalanan, magmula sa akin. Hanggang doon sa nangungulekta sa inyo, makasalanan yun. Kaya nga hindi ko sinasabing, kayo'y mangumpisal. No? Hindi ako kasama, sapagkat banal ako. No? Ay, hindi ganun. Sa unang hirit pa lang ng dasal ko, ako'y nangungumpisal. Sama-sama tayo. O kaya yung mga nagsasabi, ah, hindi ako kisimba, mga makasalanan lang ang nakikita ko. Aba, ito tumingin ka nga sa salamin. Para bang hindi siya sa kasama doon. Kung gusto niyo makakita ng makasalanan, <laughs> sigurado, pumunta kayo sa simbahan. Yan ang simbahan dito sa daigdig. Kapag ka pumunta kayo dito sa manawag, simbahang ito, sa basilikang ito, at ang nakatabi niyo, eh si San Martin de Porres, dito sa aking kanan, si San Vicente Ferrer, dito sa aking kaliwa, hmm. at ang katabing-katabi niyo, eh ang ating birhing manawag. Kurutin niyo, sarili niyo, Nasa langit na kayo, patay na kayo dito sa mundo. Pero pag kayo pumasok dito, ang nakikita nyo nagmimisa itong matandang paring ito. Ah. <laughs> At yung mga dating kasakasama nyo nagsisimba tuwing alasais dito sa Basilica, eh buhay pa kayo. Bakit? Lahat siya'y makasalanan eh. Kasama nyo nagsasabing, Ako'y nangungumpisal. Pero hindi tayo nawawala ng pag-asa. Bakit? Buo pa yung ulo. Si Kristo. Banal. Kaya si Kristo, alam niyang makapangyarihan yung kanyang kabutihan. Hindi yan matatalo ng ating kasamaan. Kaya magtsaga tayo. Maghintay. Sabi nga dito sa Ibanghelyo, ang ating Panginoon ay isang manggagamot. At katulad ng manggagamot, siya'y nagpapagaling. Kaya ang simbahan, alam nyo, pagamutan. Lahat tayo makasalanan, lahat tayo may sakit. Ngayon, ano tingin nyo sa pagamutan? O dalawang bagay. Pag tinanong nyo, ang pangkaraniwang tao, katulad ko, ang pagamutan. Ako, allergic ako dyan sa pagamutan. Ako, ayaw ko pumunta sa ospital. Kayo man, ayaw nyo pumunta sa ospital. Ano? Sapagkat masama ang tingin nyo sa pagamutan. Pag sinabing pagamutan, yan ang lugar ng may mga karamdaman, mga may iniinda, May nagdurusa, masakit ang kanilang katawan. O, oh, ayan. Maraming mikrobyo. May COVID siguro. O, oh, ayan, ha? Masakit. Sapagkat uh, may surgery, may putulan ng kung ano-ano. May mga medical procedures na Napakasakit kapag ginagawa sa iyo ang lupet. O, kaya pag ganyan ang tingin mo sa pagamot, talaga hindi ka pupunta. Pero yung mga doktor at mga nurses na nandu doon, halos 24 oras, yun ang buhay nila sa pagamutan. Iba tingin sa pagamutan. Tanungin nyo yung doktor na mabait at sasabihin sa inyo, ang pagamutan ay lugar ng pag-asa. Ng mga pasyente ay gagaling sa pamamagitan ng pagtityaga at pakikipagtulungan sa mga health workers. Yan ang lugar na may kalinga at may pagmamalasakit. Yan ang lugar na talagang nagpupursige ang lahat ng mga nando doon upang kahit kay may sakit ay eh maging hawahan ka. At mula sa bingit ng kamatayan, ay bumalik sa iyo ang kalusugan at ikaw'y mabuhay na muli. O, oh, yun. O, oh, yun ang kanilang punto de vista ng pagamutan. O, sino ang paniniwalaan yung 
bibigyan nyo ng mabigat na halaga yung sinabi. Ako, na paminsan-minsan lang pumupunta sa pagamutan at halos hinihila pa bago makapasok doon, o yung mga health workers, mga manggagamot at mga nurses na halos doon na nakatira at nakikita kung ano yung patakarang gumagalaw sa pagamutan. Sino? Sino ang paniniwalaan yung bibigyan nyo ng bigat at pahalaga ang pagsaksi nila? Di naturalmente, yung mga halos na nakatira doon, sapagkat mas malaki ang karanasin nila kung paano gumalaw ang pangamutan. Eh tayo, paminsan-minsan lang, eh, pupunta ay tayo simbahan, parang pagamutan yan, makikita mo yung mga makasalanan, yung kumari mong chismosa. Mm -hmm. Nakita mo yung paring babaero. Mm -hmm. Oh, nakita mo yung kapitbahay mong sugarol. Yun ang mga nakikita mo. Pagkatapos, eh, i-equate mo na yan sa buong simbahan. Yung 15 minutos mo sa simbahan, hinusgahan mo na yung buong simbahan. Oh, makatwiran ba yun at makatarungan? Tanungin nyo yung mga taong nandoon, na nakatira doon sa simbahan halos. Kung ano ang kanilang pakiwari at pakiramdam. Eh sino yung nakatira doon? Eh ang Diyos, tanungin nyo sa ano ba simbahan? Oo nga't makasalanan yung mga pumupunta riyan, pero kaya nga pumupunta para gamutin ko. Kaya nga yung mga pariseyo, oh, at marami tayong mga pariseyo hanggang ngayon, oh, yung mga tao nagmamalinis-malinis, Uy, bakit ako pumunta sa simbahan? Puro mga makasalanan yan. Kala mo, hindi siya makasalanan. O, oh, mga pariseyo. O, oh. si, tinanong yung mga apostoles, bakit yung Panginoon ninyo maestro ay eh, nakikipagka, nakikipagkaibigan ang mga kasamay makasalanan. Mga tax collectors. O, alam niyo naman, mga tax collectors sa ano kapag sinabi niyo, ano, tagapangalap ng buwis. O, oh. Husga agad natin, mga kurakot yan. Mga... Ba't dyan nakikisama yung, yung Panginoon? Ang narinig ng Panginoon, sabi niya, Hoy, hindi ako nagpunta rito para sa mga matwid. Nagpunta ako rito para sa mga makasalanan. Ako'y manggagamot, hindi ako nagpunta rito para sa malulusog. Nagpunta rito ako para dun sa mga may sakit. O, ayun na sinabi ng Panginoon. May pag-asa siya, hindi siya nawalan ng pag-asa. Na kahit na talamak yung nakikita niyang kasalanan ng mga tagapangalap ng buwis at iba pang mga makasalanan, hindi siya nawalan ng pag-asa. May paraan para yung mga sugat na yan gumaling. Pagtsagaan mo lang. Maghintay ka. Kaya tinawag niya si Mateo. O ngayon yung istorya ng pagbabalik loob ni Mateo, tinawag niya, Mateo! Sabi niya ganun. Tingnan niyo, pag tumatawag siya, ano ang pagtawag niya? Sa pangalan. Ganyan siyang manawagan. Hindi niya tinatawagan yung mga tao sa pamamagitan ng ginawa nila. Tayo, pag may ginawang kasalanan ang isang tao, yung pangalan niya, pinapalitan na natin noong kasalanan niya. Para ba yung kasalanan niya, yun na ang mananatiling katauhan niya habang buhay. Hindi ka lang nabate, may isang umaga, hmm, nung kapitbahay mo, binati mo ng good morning. Eh siguro yung kapitbahay niyo may iniisip na problema, hindi ka napansin, hindi ka binati at sinagot. O, oh, nawala na yung pangalan niya. Magmula noon, ano tawag mo sa kapitbahay mo? Si Suplada. Si Suplada. Yung kumari mo, hindi ka lang napautang minsan, makalawa, o maaari mo nagigipit din. O ano na tawag mo? Si Kuripot. 
Nakalimutan mo na yung tunay na pangalan. No? Magmula noon, ang pangalan na niya, Kuripo. Tayo nandiyan ba si Kuripo? Ayan na. Nandiyan ba si Suplada? O yung kumpadre mo, minsan lang nagyabang. Na kasi eh, nanalo sa ganito at nagwagi sa ganyang timpalak. Eh, walang masabihin ng kanyang tuwa. O, sinabi eh. O, eh. Si Yabang. Yabang na ang tawag mo. Eh, si Yabang. Magmula nun, pangalan niya, Yabang na. Hindi na mawawala yun. Sa isang pagkakamali lang, ha? Nabago na yung buong katauhan. Hinusgahan muna. Ang Diyos hindi ganun. Tingnan yung lahat ng mga makasalanang tinawag niya. Si Magdalena. Ano tinawag niya? Sabi ni San Marcos, sa Ebanghelo ni San Marcos, meron daw pitong demonyo doon sa ka. Kaluluan ni Magdalena, ganong katalamak ang pagkakasala ni Magdalena. Sinabi ba niyang, Hoy, maldita? Nung tinawag niya, hindi. Maria. Si Zaccheo, yung punong tagapangalap ng buwis, nakita niya, no? Oh, pinapanood siya sapagkat gusto niya makita yung bagong celebrity na ang pangalay si Jesus. O nung makita niya, no, na, bibitin-bitin doon sa puno ng sikamuro, hindi niya sinabi, Hoy, mangungurakot, bumaba ka nga dito. Oh, no, no. Sinabi niya, Sakeo. Hindi niya hinusgahan yung tao dahil sa isang pagkakamali sa isang kasalanan. Magbabago pa, hindi pa tapos ang labanan eh. Nandiyan pa si Jesus at may kapangyarihan siya mapagbago ang mga tao. Yan ang pag-asa ko. Kaya kahit ako makasalanan, halimbawa, o oh, halimbawa lang, ako'y babaero, sugarol, lasenggong pare. Hmm. Alam ko, pag nakita ko ang Panginoon, tatawagin pa rin ako sa pangalan ko. Hoy, Enrico, Enrico, halika rito, kakausapin kita. Hindi niya ako tatawagin. Hoy, walang yang pare. Ali ka nga rito. Kahit na ano pang ginawa niyo, hindi tayo itatakwil ng Diyos at tatanggalin ang pangalan natin. Kapamilya pa rin tayo. Ituturing pa rin anak. At hindi tatanggalin ang ating pangalan. Bakit? Sapagkat siya'y mapagmahal na ama na hindi nawawalan ng pag-asa sa kanyang mga anak. Magsitayo tayo. Let's pray together as children of God. For every intention, we are going to say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may be seen as a healing home of the weak and the sinful. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who hold public office may be honest and faithful to their duties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That in this Eucharistic offering, we may experience God's healing mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may look with compassion and understanding to those persons who are living sinful lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the vacations and the needs of the province, and for our brothers and ministry at St. John Lateran and St. Albert the Great, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, and for our personal intentions, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may experience the saving power of God, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer.
Almighty Father, give us this strength in order to follow the life and example of Jesus who never sought vengeance, who never despised us, notwithstanding our sinfulness, but has given us hope because he make us realize that we are your children, not only now, but forever. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. This will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, works of human hands, this will become our spiritual gift. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness you form it anew, and so it is right that your creatures serve you. All the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Oh, Sana, oh, Sana, oh, Sana in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. For you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francisco, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishops, Gerard, the Master of the Dominican Order, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the blessed apostle, Saint Dominic, and Saint Francis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. and in his love for us he taught us to call his own father our father so we have the courage to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Believe us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who we'll live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit we offer one another the sign of peace peace be with you peace lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. The Lord has come to his people and set them free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord, Lord has, has come, come to his people, people and set them free. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord. We pray so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. Sa uspuso kaming nagpapasalamat sa lahat sa inyo na nagsidalot na nakiisa sa aming pagdiriwang ng Santa Misa. Naway pagpatuloy nyo ang pagdarasal para sa mga naglilingkod sa inyo dito sa Basilica Minore of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. Makakaasa kayong pagpapatuloy din namin ang pagdarasal para sa inyo at sa inyong mga pamilya. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now please join me as we pray together the blessing for the sick and then followed by the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty, turned with kindness towards our sick and aging brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.